Thank you for linking to this video from the 7 Day Dental website. Today, Dr. Burrell is going to talk a little bit about Invisalign. Dr. Burrell has been with 7 Day Dental for the last 15 years and has been using the Invisalign for four years. Dr. Burrell, what is Invisalign? Well, Invisalign is an orthodontic appliance that doesn't use braces or arch wires to straighten the teeth. There are a series of uh, aligners made out of specialized plastic and they're designed by the doctor and manufactured by the computer. Okay, so here's a model of uh, an Invisalign appliance on some teeth. They can be for the upper or the lower or both. This is what the aligners look like, a clear plastic, and again, it's a series of aligners, uh, more than one. You might need 10 or 15 or 20. Every case is different, but each one moves the teeth a little bit, and you wear for about two, two and a half weeks, and then you wear the next one, and you gradually, slowly move the teeth by progressing through the sequence of aligners. So Dr. Burrell, which types of cases can be treated with Invisalign? Well, Invisalign is very effective when it's used in properly selected cases. Some of the cases that you could consider using Invisalign would be uh, relapsed orthodontic cases. People that had braces before and either lost their retainers or they didn't wear them for whatever reason and their teeth shifted some they can be a, a, an excellent candidate for Invisalign. And typically the treatment is six months or less in those type of cases. So uh, relapsed orthodontic cases are definitely something you would want to consider. Um, Pre-cosmetic cases, when you're going to have either veneers or crowns, uh, Invisalign can align the teeth better and that allows you to make thinner veneers uh, in particular or thinner crowns and if you have some spacing sometimes the space is not where you need it it's it's all in one place or it's not where you want it and Invisalign allows you to change the position of the spacing to make the teeth more even sized um, periodontal cases where there's been some bone loss and you need excellent hygiene. You have to uh, be able to clean correctly, properly at home, and if you don't have braces and wires in the way, you can brush and floss a lot better. Invisalign, you just take the appliance out and you can brush and floss quite well. Uh, I like to call another type of, of case the single tooth case. Uh, a lot of times you really want to move just one tooth or to a small group of teeth. Well, Invisalign is great for that. The problem with braces and arch wires is, is the arch wires connect to all the teeth, so when you move one tooth, you're affecting all of the other teeth as well. Um, ideal cases are the mild to moderate crowding or mild to moderate spa spacing, or rotated teeth that are, that are mildly rotated, or small midline shifts of only a few millimeters are kinds of cases that, that e easily can be treated with Invisalign. Invisalign also has begun a, a, a new type of treatment where they can treat teens. In the past, you had to have all of your permanent teeth erupted. Uh, and um, Teenagers didn't necessarily uh, qualify. Well, now there are ways to treat the cases that don't have all of their permanent teeth fully erupted yet. And so teen Invisalign is something new that they've come up with over the last few years. Um, I would say that there are some cases that shouldn't be treated with Invisalign. Poor candidates are, uh, if there's a, a cross bite where the upper tooth in the back is inside the lower teeth, um, that, those cases are very difficult for Invisalign. Um, if you have a large overbite or you have a big underbite, those type of cases, again, are not really good for Invisalign. 
Uh, teeth that are twisted, rotated in the back are hard to treat with Invisalign. And teeth that require either significant uprighting or extrusions are cases that uh, probably are not very well treated by Invisalign. But there are a large number of cases that can be treated. And so uh, if you want to have a consultation, come on in, let's take a look and see what Invisalign can or can't do for you. Um, sometimes there's combination treatment where you can treat most of the case with Invisalign and then you might use some braces and wires for the last little bit of treatment that maybe uh, is sort of beyond the scope of what Invisalign can do. Thanks.